All right. Hey, folks. Um, now that we've talking, talked about haikus, we're going to break them down a little bit more so you understand how they work. Um, so on the screen here, we have three examples of haikus uh, from one of the most famous Japanese haiku writers, Basho. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to break them down by syllable. So just to review, um, it's haikus uh, go five, seven, five. Okay. Um, five, seven, five. And a syllable, in case you're wondering, is kind of a unit of sound. So we're going to give you uh, some examples here. Um, so we're going to break this down and I'm going to put like lines. Uh, or I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to put little dashes between each syllable uh, in this first example here. So it says an old silent pond. Okay, so old is one syllable. Okay, and I'll put a little space between it. And old space, silent. So there's a silent. Silent has two parts. Um, and you can see that it ends with the vowel and then it comes into the next consonant. Old silent pond. So consonants either typically, um, well, a new consonant typically starts with, uh, or a new syllable typically starts with a consonant, but not always. Um, in this case, we have one that's ending with a vowel and the one that's ending with a consonant, but they both start with consonants. So an old silent pond. You can kind of clap to the beat too if you want to, if you want to old silent pond. Um, either way is fine um, to identify syllables. Um, and then pond is one syllable as well. Okay. So we can see if we count here one, two, three, four, five, the first line has uh, five syllables. So if we read it out loud, an old silent pond. I like to keep track with my fingers, I think it's easier. Now, the next line says, a frog jumps into the pond. So A is our first syllable, frog. You know, that sounds like a bigger word. It's just one syllable, jumps. Again, a large word, but just one syllable. But then we have into. Into is two syllables. So what might be confusing is you might see a larger word and say, well, the word is larger. Does that mean um, that it's multiple syllables? Not necessarily. A syllable doesn't necessarily have to do with the length of the word. Um, it's how we break up the word in our speech. So a frog jumps into the pond. Okay. And so we have another syllable there and then another syllable there. So even though we've got words longer uh, than into here, jumps uh, into a four letter word is two syllables. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Next line, splash. Again, Bit of a larger word, um, but it's only one syllable. Silence, silence. So this one's very similar to silent up there. Silence, and then again. So this is an example of just a one letter syllable, again, okay? Um, so the goal here is for you to break up the haikus like this. And the reason why you're breaking up the haikus like this and why we're doing haikus in the first place is that um, it's very helpful um, to break up words by syllable um, when, you, when it comes to pronunciation. Uh, the more practice you get in breaking up the word, um, the better you'll be at identifying when words have multiple syllables and then therefore pronouncing them. Okay, we're going to do one more together uh, just to make sure it's clear. Uh, we're going to break up this second one. All right, autumn. Okay, so this is an interesting word. This N right here is silent. I'm going to go ahead and change the color of that uh, to yellow, like a little background color to warn you. Autumn, so ah, tum, so that's two syllables. Moonlight, again, a quite a long word, um, but what's wrong here? Autumn moonlight, are we missing a syllable? It appears so. Autumn, moonlight. Let's see if there's any other make, make mistakes in this. A worm, a worm digs. Sigh, lint, flee. So a worm digs silently. So this one, we can quickly, I see identify that this is not a haiku. So this poem right here is not a haiku. 
Um, and I'm going to sneak a few of these in here just to make sure you can see and identify which ones are haiku. So let's go down this bottom one down here and make sure it's a haiku. So in the twilight, okay, so we have our first syllable here. In the twilight rain. All right, so, so far we got one, two, three, four, five. So this first line works just fine, okay? These brilliant, these, okay, so that's our first syllable. Brill, brilliant, cued. Okay, so we've got, so far we've got one, two, three, four, so we need three out of this last word. Hopefully it's got it. He, this, this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. And then let's look at this last line. A lovely, lovely sun, sun set. Okay. So now um, that you have good sense of how to break up the haikus, I've given you a few haikus in your assignment to break up. So I'm going to give you a few minutes and I'm going to be walking around the class if you need assistance.